hey Bobber, it's me, so today it's the first video of 2020, hopefully it's a new year when I upload this, so first video of 2020, I do this every year, I make a video, but this year I think I'm going to do something different, I don't think I did this last year, where I actually look back at the first video of 2019 that I've done, which, you know, I just want to react to it, see what's different, see what isn't different, so all we gotta do is just load more, go whoop, all the way down here, go all the way down here, look back in the year, you know, get to the videos I made, and get to go chronologically what happened, so let's go all the way down, oh wait no no, no here he is, <laughs> there it is, it says 2019, okay so that's my 2018, okay yes yes yes, it's so 2019, here it is, so it's playing for some 2019. Oh wait, I remember this. Isn't it you know, like my this series I started doing? Like memes versus zombies. A new series with this. And it's gonna be called Memes vs Zombies. You know what? Okay, there we go. Memes vs Zombies. So if I remember, what I wanted to do for this series is basically just like troll the zombies with tactics that don't aren't usual, like like, um, there's mushrooms in the game, and mushrooms can't, uh, they, they're asleep during the daytime, so what would we do? I think for this first video, if I remember. Yeah, I think, no, 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 this is a different tactic, but I would plant mushrooms in daytime, which is not really effective, but it's a meme. What I did here, if I remember, is I placed a bunch of sunflowers on this top row, so I get a bunch of sun. I don't know what the goal of the video was, but I guess... I was playing snow peas as well, and I I placed double garlic, and it's really really good. And I I was the reason why I stopped doing this series is because uh, the next day, yeah, January second. I was on January second, not on January first. I'm guessing uh the last video was part of 2019 or the first video. So assuming this is like the end of the year thing I did, I I I actually like the thumbnail for this. Um, it basically goes over by 2018, 2019, I'm probably not going to do it for this year, I'm not. I'm making it different every year, I'm doing a recap 2019 through this, basically, so. So I started a war with late films. I remember that, because Kevin was like, hey, let's just start a war, it gets more views, more people are going to watch it, and like, it kind of did, you know, 10 views. Then, you know, uh, where is the next video? Oh, crap. Oh, late films still my count, I got 11 views, um... I guess that, uh, yeah, here's another one, 18 views, I believe that's it, because we stopped it, because, like, it, it really was time consuming, it, it did, it, it was probably the worst time to do it as well, for two reasons, one, because, like, 2018 was supposed to be our year to, like, help each other out, and if we're doing a war, that's not gonna work out, so, like, <laughs> it's so stupid, it's so stupid. I don't know why we did that. It only lasted for like a week. Yeah, this, I think this is the last video I made on it and just never touched on it again because like, it, it's completely fake. It's BS. It doesn't doesn't do anything. And Jesus Christ. I did not make a lot of videos this year. This <laughs> is 2018. I can just scroll all the way up. No time at all. Literally takes me no time. Probably because I was in college. And, uh, pretty much just a year to just rethink, you know, qu quality over quantity, but another reason why this is a bad time for this war thing is because my audio glitched out. If you watch any of my videos, any of these videos from, like, I guess this one onwards, this is actually the last gameplay video of, like, normal audio ever. <laughs> from here on out, it's just a glitched audio because the late films, this was before our war, like, a couple days before our war. Um, like, in between this, in between these videos right here, in between this time, the timeline, in between these videos, um, late films wanted to, like, cause I, my, my, in my editing software, my voiceover thing broke, so I kind of like, hey, let me fix it, but I must have clicked something, because it gets clearly glitched out, and I can't fix it, I've tried it for months, and it, nothing I can do works, I'm playing on, like, an uninstalling OBS and reinstalling it, if that doesn't work, then I am a screwed. Let's see, is this video glitched out? Probably is. 
uh, thing that I've done. I don't remember, but you see, I got an, uh, uh, I got an extra heart. Uh, wait, why is this not glitched out? What the hell? I don't understand. Make it a rule. Come on, get, get, get now, guys, party. I say one comment, one thing. Oh, yeah, it's just... Oh, there we go. There's the glitched audio. There's the glitched audio, there it is. There it is. Yeah, so for whatever reason, it just works here. So it was better back then than it is now. Yeah. And basically throughout all of these videos, it just glitches out and, you know, I can't really do anything about it. I tried fixing it. You know, I've done the memes of the week, which I stopped because I was just really tedious to do. I didn't, it just got boring after a while. Um, but they were fun, I guess, you know. Um, yeah, this is a video, I think this is a video where, like I said, like, I can't, this is why I can't record. It was like a test video. This is actually the first gameplay of Glitched Audio. Which was really bad, it was like, you could barely hear my voice half the time, and, uh... The thing that I love how, like, everyone was like, oh, it make, make it like a Fortnite something, because I was playing Fortnite, but, like... That wasn't the point, it was just a test thing to show that I can't record it. The point wasn't for me to do what I was doing in Fortnite, it was just... The fact that my audio was glitched is what I'm showing you why I can't... I have to do, like, a test recorder recording, and... People don't understand. Uh, but I do. But, like... All these videos just have glitched audio, and it's just... Really, really just... Weird. Um... Eventually, we got a new server, Minecraft server, that failed. Because we're... Doing real life stuff. So we were stuck with that, but then we just stopped the server. Um, then this is where I did Fortnite stuff. So season Chapter 2 came into play. And that's when I started doing shorter videos because I had college and a bunch of work I had to do. And then, you know, I actually rewatched this one because it's funny. I actually like these videos. They got a lot of views. Um, no more video, but it's just a description. And that leads us to, uh... To now. Where, uh... I basically do... Normal videos now. So that leads up to today. So, what does that mean for 2020? So, what does that mean for the new year? What is my predictions for the new year? So, so I always predict stuff and I'm like, okay, what's gonna happen? Usually I'm wrong, but you never know. I could be right, maybe. So, what I'm predicting for the new year is that the same thing's gonna happen. Actors and actresses, famous people, they're gonna die. We're gonna mourn their deaths. People that we know are gonna die, like in the celebrity world. You know, there's always people every year. They die. That's just how life is. So that's gonna happen. Um, in the political view, Trump's probably gonna get impeached. Well, he already is impeached, but like, he's probably gonna get kicked out of office. I can see that happening. Or maybe it's not. It probably won't be, cause like I heard like the Senate is like Republican. So I don't know if they'll like kick Trump out. Pro maybe not. Probably not. I bet he isn't. It's gonna be war against the Senate and. uh you know, the Congress, whatever, you know, it's crazy. If you don't live in America, political stuff's crazy, man. <laughs> Every time, I'm trying to watch The Price is Right, and it's just this, this bullcrap, just me meetings, just broadcasting on live TV. And I'm trying to watch The Price is Right, and it's just, I can't. I want to watch The Price is Right. But <laughs> can't forget about COPPA. Um, I believe I'm, I'm going to be fine with COPPA. I, I'm not going to go away when COPPA comes around January 1st. I'm gonna stay here on Kappa, because the way I believe Kappa works is that, you know, I think it's, it's I'm predicting how, how Kappa works. Uh, Kappa works, in my opinion, in my view, and this is how it's gonna go in 2020, I believe, that if you're directing your, your audience, to, if you're directing the way you speak, the way your videos are made, the way your thumbnails are made, in a ch in children view, like if you're talk speaking like you act like a baby, if your thumbnails are very bright and colorful, and the way your videos are edited, that are child like baby like you know that you'll see in like you know Nick Lodi, Nick Jr. you know these baby channels the way they're edited if you're making it like that then yeah you're gonna be you know 
And if you market no for children, then you're screwed. But if you're making videos like me, where my videos aren't directed to children, like the way I speak, I'm not directing myself to children. A lot of YouTubers I watch are fearing a cop, but they're not going to be affected by it. You're not directing your audience to children. Yet children may watch your content, but you're not you're not speaking to them directly. You're not making your content directly towards the children. That's what I'm saying. There is no middle ground, which, you know, it's YouTube's fault. I'm in the middle. I'm for general audience, like everyone else's general audience. Like, I know Dan TDM, he made, like, a couple of videos on it, and he's, like, he, I think he's immune to it, which I don't know how. I guess because he's Dan TDM, he's, you know, very, very rich and powerful in the YouTube community. He has, like, a huge team of lawyers figuring out what, what, how Cobb is going to affect people. Like, everything about it, which is nice. So he is, he, he is immune. So he's good. I believe, uh, Sunday's probably affected by it. If he's not immune, he's probably immune. He's probably going to make a video early January. Saying that he's immune. Um, for any other YouTuber, I don't know. They're probably gonna be, YouTubers that we know are gonna be gone, probably. Um, but you know that, that's that's YouTube's fault, not ours. But we're affected by it. But I think YouTube's gonna be going down the drain. YouTube by the end of this year and the end of 2020 is gonna be gone. Um, it's, the I believe the community's gonna be split. And uh, cause look at this here. Look at YouTube Rewind. Um, it's just, it feels like a bot made it, and that's what it is. YouTube is made by bots, and it will continue to do that, and, uh, so gonna YouTube is going to get more and more, you know, strict. And, uh, because I believe COP is a start, and it's going to go downhill from there, and we're all going to be gone. Well, majority of us are probably going to be gone by 2020, but, you know, that's why I believe, you know, I'm predicting a dark future, but, uh, that's why I think, you know, the reason why I'm being so negative and, like, like really, like, depressing is because that's what it is for every other year since 20, since 2016 is when all this depressing stuff happened, where you have all these, you know, horrible acts around the world and stuff like that, and, uh, it's gonna continue. It's not gonna stop. It's not gonna magically stop. It's still gonna continue. Um, hopefully for my channel, it does continue well. Hopefully I gain success. I believe I'll, I believe I will get some success, because Late Films and I have a podcast. We are very, we are starting to get successful on other platforms. We have people do watch us on these other platforms, which is pretty nice. Um, I believe I will get um, more subscribers this year, more views this year. I don't know if it'll be the same thing as 2018, where I had, like, the Pray for Sunday video had a bunch of views. I don't know if it'll be like that. Um, I'm not expecting it to be that, but, like, if I get, like, a thousand views on, like, a normal video, that's pretty good for me. All I want is, like, a hundred views per, per video. That's all I really want. That seems normal, seems reasonable for my size of a channel. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully, hopefully 2020, the things I've said, they don't come true and and we all live peacefully and happily. We all live kumbaya with one another, but yeah, that's like a 1% chance of that happening. <laughs> but, you know, you, you still have a chance. So, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys have enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. From your future video, more, more future videos from my channel. I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. Yeah, I confess, father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong, I know I've been blessed. I, I had a thousand chances, how many left? I, I, I've been sinning lately, what do you suggest? What should I do? I want 999 more Hail Marys right now.